How's it going Rogues Gallery? Today we have a really special video because today I'm opening up a brand new card game, or at least it's very new for me. It is Genesis Battle of Champions. This here is the two player starter set. We're gonna be opening up a couple of these as well as a bunch of booster packs from every single set. I actually talked to the owner of the company that makes this game, Haunted Castle Gaming, super cool dude, and he was like, yo, let me send you some product. Let me send you some stuff to maybe even give away. So yeah, I'm gonna have a giveaway at the end of the video. We're gonna be giving away some really cool stuff. I'm gonna give away these two starter decks. Let's see if we can get them in focus a little bit. The art in this game is fantastic. It's actually incredibly fantastic. And we're gonna give away all of these promos here. We're gonna look at these you know, in greater detail up close, but you can kind of see how freaking awesome the art is. Like this card, Rain, dude, this looks so good. Let's get in focus. Yeah, it looks so good. So yeah, we're gonna give away all of these promos. These are like the 2019 promos. This game has been around for a little while, by the way. It's been around since 2017. It is made in Canada and they're kind of like looking to, you know, um, diversify, you know, get out into the, the larger world. So I think this game is really cool. I think it's definitely worth a shot. And I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this video. We're gonna open up a lot of booster packs. We're gonna open up these starter decks and we're gonna give away these two sealed starter decks as well as all of these upside down promos that I have here. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with opening up all of these awesome looking cards and looking at them in greater detail. I know I just said looking twice in a row. In any case, let's just go, let's just go. Genesis Battle of Champions. This is the beta two player starter set. We have the uh, Vishund clan, they look awesome. We have the uh, Sahas Academy, can kind of hardly see it, but we got it, we got it. We got the uh, Ajna Collective, they look really cool, look very um, look more mystically, got some magic power flow in there. And then we have the uh, Vadis Empire, it's hard to get this on screen with the positioning I have, but I really like the aesthetic of those characters in particular. So we are going to be opening up this two player starter set. We might open up two of these two player starter sets. We're going to open up 10 packs from all of the sets. And I do want to note before we get started that this game has been around since 2017. There are four sets on the market, an alpha set, a beta set, as well as some expansions. Welcome to Jalara and Raze. This one is the beta set. We do have 10 booster packs from the beta set beta set that we're going to open up today. We also have 10 booster packs from Welcome to Jalara that we're going to be opening up. And you can see how awesome the artwork is on these. I love how I have the uh, the white sides. Man, it reminds me of like really old magic packs that also have like the, the white on the side. Same with like uh, basically any old Cardamundi print games had that like kind of the white bordering on the sides. And then we have the newest set here, Rays, which recently just came out. And like I said, this game is made in Canada, but they would like to, you know, make a more wide, um, you know, global audience, I would say. And I think it's worth it, dude. I think it's definitely, definitely uh, worth taking a look at. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna open up all those packs, all 30 of those packs in today's video. But before we do, Let's take a close look up, close look up? <laughs> Let's take a close look at these starter decks as well as these uh, promo cards. So these are the things that we're gonna be giving away at the end of the video. So we have these two starter decks, this one with Grey Wolf and this one with the Rajasi Lion. These two, I'm gonna set these aside. These are gonna be for the winner at the end of the video. So I will tell you how to enter at the end of the video, so stick around for that. And I kind of want to show you everything before I tell you how to enter, so you kind of, you know, you know what you're getting here. And we're also going to be opening up all of these promos. Well, not all the promos, right? So these promos here, all of these sealed promos will also go to the winner. So the winner will get both starter decks, so you know you can play with a friend, and all of these promos, so you can kind of like spice up your deck with them. So let's actually open up all the promos here and uh, just kind of take a look at them, you know, one at a time and we'll, we'll take a look at them, appreciate the artwork, you know, AWWA, appreciate where we are and we are here looking at these cards and we're gonna open up these as well. So we're gonna open up a lot of stuff. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm probably gonna speed through a lot of like just the, the wrapper opening and then we're just gonna get to the actual cards and kind of take a look at them close up.
All right, so here are all of the promos. Looks like they're all from 2019. The cardstock is pretty nice. It's got kind of like this matte finish almost. You can kind of see the back too. I would say, you know, pretty standard cardstock for, you know, most you know, trading card games. Uh, I do know that this game is played on a grid, which is really, really cool. So kind of think of like, um, like Warhammer style or like miniatures where you have, you know, a grid and you have like positioning on the grid and, and all that kind of stuff. We're not going to go deep into that because that would be a whole other video, but it is kind of like a grid style. So if you do like those type of games, but you know, with cards instead of miniatures, I think this is going to be really, really cool for you. I think it's going to be really up your alley. Like me, you know, I think it's really up my alley. So here is Long. Um, he looks awesome. He's got like this cool like gray dragon scale or some some stuff going on as well as this very long pole arm. Looks like it's double bladed too. Looks really cool. Uh, she looks rad as hell. Fang. She's got a fire attack and a fire shield. I do like how they name the attacks. That's really cool. And here's some of the stats at the top. You got some life. I'm not sure what all of the stats are, but I think it's really cool. BET probably means beta set. Um, it says starter as well. Really cool. I dig the art on that card a lot. Uh, Rain is my favorite one so far, by the way. It looks amazing. I absolutely love it. I'm very curious to see what these are. Maybe attributes or certain, like, uh, uh, pro probably like some sort of attributes. Maybe elemental attributes or clan affiliations or something like that, I, I would be willing to bet. And you can kind of see on the grid here, maybe their positioning and where they can attack. Uh, we have Kendra. She's got a big old, big old book. Very uh, wizardly looking character. Basic attack, Neurum. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we got Raha. Love the art on this card. Very, very cool. She's got this giant, like, you know, bone enforced longbow with like this lightning arrow. I can dig it, dude. I can, I can dig it. Looks like she can attack, you know, pretty good ways in front of her, like two, two, uh, two spaces ahead. Nubia also love the artwork. I think, you know, this is the aesthetic that I, I really dig. Um, really like this character too. Very, very sweet. We got Malik. Very, like, fierce-looking, um, almost like Norse tribal barbarian stuff going on. Love the skull. Very Diablo-esque. We got Idris, or Idris. Something like that. She's really cool. Looks like a fire wizard, dude. She's just packing fire. I love the, uh, the design on her face. Really dig the art direction in this game. Angel of Retribution. So this is the first card that we've gotten here that doesn't have a name. Like, it's just kind of like an angel. What is the angel of retribution? Where all the other cards are like named characters. Very cool. I dig it quite a bit. And you can kind of see this symbol on the bottom. Also tells you the rarity here. So this is a rare. Whereas all these other cards were like starter cards. So these must be promo versions of like starter cards. Well, we're going to find out in the starter deck if it comes with those. Or if it is in this base two player starter set. So yeah, let's, uh, let's open up these first. Just so you can kind of see what you're going to be entering to win at the end of the video. And then we're going to dive deep into all these packs. All right, let's take a look at this uh, Rajashi, Rajashi Lion. I think it's a little bit more intriguing than the wolf. Though I do like wolves, dude, you know. If you know me, I actually work, you know, my, my, my real, well, not my real job. I don't know how to put it. But I work in retail in the pet industry, basically. So wolves and cats and stuff. Not wolves specifically, dogs, cats and stuff. They're no no stranger to me. So we got this Rajashi line. Does say the rarity here, uncommon. J A E, probably welcome to Jalara is the set. Um you got walls of Vadis, quick shot. We're gonna go through these pretty quickly, but I do want to linger on the art so you can kind of get a feel of what's going on here. So we got this fear cub. Another Rajashi line. Love to see the dupes in here because you know that helps build deck consistency. Quick shot, walls of Vadis. We got gust. Looks kind of like a like a spell, spell, and it's an aimed spell. Very interesting. It, it's a common card. Thunderstruck. I just had, I just had to. We got blackstone golem. We got a couple of these blackstone golems. Uh, Androthera, uh, Jalarian hound. Really like the, the look of that. We got this gust. More gust. More smoke bomb. Another blackstone golem. Androthera, hound, lion. Yeah, I really dig. I like I like the the duplicity here, you know, that, that makes a good starting experience because there's consistency in the deck. There's not a lot of random, you know, you don't you get the one card in your deck that's like good, for example. There's multiple copies of all the stuff. That's really what you want to see in starter decks, in my opinion. Uh, Magic does it the worst, where they just give you like one copy of like a bunch of stuff. That's not a good experience, dude. That doesn't like tell you how to actually play with, with the deck. 
Um, so we have, ooh, this one's different. So this is a stack token card. Oh, interesting. This card is a stack token card. It can be used to represent an ability that is on the stack. Probably has a function very similar to stacks, how they work in Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, you know, um, Force of Will or any of those games like that. So very cool. I do like the token, the token, the token here. Got four stack token cards. Oh, check out their Patreon, patreon.com slash Genesis B-O-C. Yeah, you know, check it out. I will have links, by the way, in the description down below where you can pick this game up if you'd like to buy it. Um, here's all their other stuff. You know, they got the Patreon, got the Reddit, got the Instagram and the, and the Facebook. Um, weave your timeline. Very interesting deck. Um, or ideas for a deck. And we have beginning of the round. Um, you can move phase, move, rotate, or stay. You can move or rotate, main phase, end phase, end of round. Very interesting. Um... Ooh, sweet. So we got uh, Raha. This is uh, one of the, the starter characters. Oh, very interesting. Hmm, are they the same card? Range attack, range attack, area range attack. It looks like they're the same card, but with just different artwork. Hmm. I don't know. I, I really dig the artwork. So one deck will be a, like, Raha deck. Um, you will get that promo version of it that has the, the, the gold stamp, which is... Which is very, very cool. And then you'll also get this deck. Um, what I'll also do is um, I'll probably throw in some, like, uh, rule booklets and that kind of stuff for you as well. So you can, you know, read the rule booklets and learn how to play. So I think I think that would be the best. Got this Grey Wolf um, Rampage Toss. Oh, I can see where this is going. Uh, this is, like, the the more brutal brutal characters. Oh, we've seen some, you know, uh, repeats. So we got this Jalarian Hound, Inferno Ghoul... Shadow Claw, yo. Um, Death Eater, yo, look at that, dude. And we've got this wolf. This is very, like, um, nature-themed Inferno Pits. Yo, Gollum's gonna fall off. He's gonna, he's gonna bite your bite your finger off, dude. We got uh, Pi... I don't know, man. Pi Unad. Rampage Toss. I probably said that horribly. Um, Behemoth. Yeah, I, I really dig the art in this in this game in particular. Uh, it's very, very cool, and like, uh, I don't want to say, hmm, what's the right word for it? Like, gothic fantasy, maybe? Um, very similar to like, Flesh and Blood almost, but maybe a little bit more fantastical than that. Because there's more like, monsters and, and that kind of stuff. Whereas Flesh and Blood doesn't really have a ton of monsters. There are some, but, but not, not as much. It's more like humans. But this one definitely has like, monsters, you know. It's got like, Death Eater. Kind of like a dark, like, Warcraft style. And here are the, the stack tokens. Here are the, you know, little uh, ad cards. Beginner thing. And then we have Malik. And then this dude, Malik. Yeah, very interesting. I really wonder what the difference between these. So yeah, you're going to get these two decks and all of these promos. So stay tuned until the end of the video for that. You will not be getting these ones. You'll be getting the sealed ones. As well as, like I said, maybe I'll throw in some extra goodies in there for you too. Like, uh, you know, well, not just goodies. Like, you know, how to play manual kind of thing because i'm gonna end up with you know more than one because i'm open up both of these here um let's take a look well let's see what comes in this first you know because i really don't know exactly what comes in it yeah, haunted castle made in kenyatta the the mystical land of toronto canada we have uh, genesis beta two player starter set by the way that was a scott pilgrim reference loves me <laughs> some scott pilgrim um as I knock the, the camera here. Haunted Castle Gaming. Yo, so we got some play mats here. I will include these like little like play mat things for you as well. Um, just so you have something to help you learn how to play. As well as some, uh, you know, little play mat. You can put it on. It kind of shows you. Oh, there we go. That's a perfect example. You kind of got this grid. You got your skill zone. Ooh, very MOBA-esque. Here we go. Let me get on. Uh, actually on screen. Skill zone. You got your hero or, or champion, I believe is what they're called. Um, memories. Yeah, interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, so we will include this for you. Got some dice as well. Looks like we got, what, six red and six white dice. We have this bundle. I don't think this is a starter deck. I think this is, yo, got Iridis. I think this is more akin to a like deck builder's toolkit 
if you're familiar with Magic the Gathering, or like uh, Elite Trainer Box from uh, Pokemon. We have uh, these little crystals as well. And uh, this is just kind of like, uh, you know, it's got a little divider here in in the box. So that, that's pretty cool. Comes with a box, a pretty sturdy box, by the way. You can kind of store store all of your uh, cards in here, at least uh, your, your initial batch of cards, as well as a couple booster packs. So here are the dice. We're not really going to open up the dice and, and go through them. And here are the little pieces. They're just like little... I'm not sure what these are for. Maybe these are the memories. Maybe these are for some other mechanic. But we're just going to kind of set those off to the side for now. Let's open up the packs last. Let's open up these ones first. And let's take a look at what comes in here. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure this is kind of like a... Um, it's not really a... Whatchamacallit. It's, it's not really like a, a pre-con deck. I think it comes with cards that are, you know, they're not random. It comes with set cards, but I think it encourages you to build your own deck rather than just like, here, play with play with these pre-con decks. But, you know, I will be giving you the pre-con deck, so you got you got those two. Um, those are probably what I'll be learning to play with as well. You know, the other two pre-con decks that I'm not giving away, I'll probably learn to play myself with those, uh, with those decks. So here we have uh, Iteris. Have I been saying Iridus? Man, I don't know. We got Iteris. She's got Fireball. She's got a heavy attack. Malik, Nubia. So these are the, some of the same characters we've seen before. Raha, Kendra, Rain, Fang, Long. Okay, so these are basically the the promo cards, except the promo cards have like that 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 stamp on them. So they're probably a lot more rare. The promo cards are like probably just you know special versions of the beginner champion. So there's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of nicking. Nicking on there. We have this uh, air elemental. We got four, five air elemental. Air elementals. Interesting. Uh, we got an air shield. We got two air shields. Angels kiss. Three of those. Defensive practice. Hmm. To defend. Got a guided arrow. Very, very elven looking character. Got six of these. Wow. Shoulder throw. Yo. <laughs> look at that dude. He's just getting yeeted. We call that card yeet. We got a thrust. You just gotta when you gotta execute, you gotta you gotta lay it down, man. Got concuss concussion punch. That's pretty brutal, dude. Uh, we have dodge. This is very like old school magic artwork, in my opinion. Got this earth elemental. We got a bunch of these. We have a hunting hound. Mythical protection. Yo, look at that. Uh, rampage toss. Rejuvenating Spring probably heals you a little bit. Uh, yep, you a target, or you are a target around you gain three, and it has Swift. Probably means uh, like an instant kind of deal. You can probably play it whenever, whenever the the um, timing comes up for that. Aura Surge, beautiful, dude, beautiful art. You gain ten Aura. Hmm, interesting. Got four of these, beautiful. We have Blink Shard, yo. Look at this, uh, look at this hooded figure. This, this hand coming out, yo. Chain lightning. Yo, blast. Oh, dude, this is face. Blast that dude's face. We have uh, dedicated studies. We have four dedicated studies. She's just, man, she's really into it. We've got some gusting action. I'm pretty sure we saw gust in the starter decks. Teleportation. Beautiful artwork on this one, too. Got two teleportations. The rarity is on the bottom, by the way. Uh, like I said before, but we've got water elemental. And I think those are all common for the most part, right? So let's just flip through it real quick oh no we got some uncommons here so yellow or I mean, yellow dude green is like uncommon did we get anything more than that i don't think so i think these are all uncommons or commons so in any case still very very nice like a good chunk of cards to build a deck with and then we have this death eater yo he's pretty creepy looking dude got these common death eaters death's champion looks really cool Looks like a like a dark Valkyrie or something. I dig it. Got this Essence Drain, another common card. We got Fire Elemental to go with our like Rock Elementals, Inferno Pits. We got yo, look at this Skeleton King. Look at the art on that dude. That's nuts. It's a common too. Yo, it's crazy. Underworld Knowledge. I dig this one. I dig it a lot, dude. Draw a card. I dig it even more. I like it a lot. This is a common. What is this? Oh, I bet these are like your resources. Mmm, gotcha. So, this is like your resource pile. So we have ones, 
We got these are the same back. Yeah, the same back. Got ones, but a bunch of ones. We got some fives here. Oh, it does have different art. So it kind of ascends into the fives. Into the tens. You can kind of see all of them there. We get, oh, we got the, up to 20, dude. Up to 20. Yo. So yeah, these these look like your resources. Um, and then we have a bunch of like uh, how to play stuff. Weave your timeline. Beginning of the game, rounds. This got card backs, yep. Rounds and turns, ability speeds. Uh, this one's advancing. The game favors the defender. Interesting. Active or exerted. Weaving your first timeline. Very interesting stuff. FAQ, the world of Jalera tribes. You got like the all of the clans here. And then affiliations. Yo, I think I was right. I think I was right. These are like uh, elemental. Um, they call them affiliations, but yeah. So like we got... Timos is nature, emotion, and freedom. Axon, intellect, cunning, power. Chaos is independence, death, and anarchy. And Bellum is structure, order, and faith. And here's kind of like the like the flow of the game. I really like these, by the way. Having these just at hand are, is very, very useful because I use these all the time for all the card games. We even keep ours for Arkham Horror, like the ones that come in the, the core set. We keep them like, you know, I put them in a sleeve, but we keep them ready so we can just be like, oh yeah, what phase is it again? And like... You know, if we have to refer to it, so. I actually like this stuff quite a bit. So we have, like, about this many cards to choose from to build the deck out of, as well as all of these, like, heroes or um, champions. Once again, I think they're called champions. And all of these. I think the other box comes with the same stuff. So you know what? You know what? I think we might give away that box, too. I haven't decided yet, but I think we're going to be giving away that other two-player starter set. Because I think it's the exact same thing as the one that I just opened. And, you know, I don't know if I need two of those. Um, I think it's a two-player starter set, too. So let's open up these booster packs, by the way. I already ripped open the pack. I didn't actually linger on it. So these are what the booster packs look like. Um, this is the beta set, the 15-card booster. Um, very, very nice. So, yeah, let's just get on with this. Let's look at the breakdown here. So we got some comments here. We got... Some comments that we've seen before. Yo, that is crazy looking. Unhinged. Got another Underworld Knowledge. A Dig It. Got a Skeleton King. Common. Sideswipe. Ah, oh, interesting. He's coming in the booster packs. Very interesting. Got this Iterus. Cognitive Restriction. This is a rare. So this is the rare. Cognitive Restriction. Really cool looking card. Um, so we'll set that up here. We have Archon of Light. Angel's Kiss. Underworld Dealings, Hunting Hound, Flame, yo, Fire Imbue looks rad as hell, Fire Chains, and Earth Elemental. So it looks like the rare is kind of just like in the middle. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. You get one rare per pack. And I do know that there are, in later sets, I believe there are cards higher than rare. Um, so we'll see if we can pull any of those in today's video. Beautiful teleportation, dude. We got Rebound. Yo, awesome looking card, Mind Reading. So, we got this Rebound, which looks rad as hell too. This Mind Reading, which also looks rad as hell. Got Gust, Future Sight, I love it, dude. I really like the art in this. Got Malak, I wonder if each pack comes with one of these so you can actually like draft the game. I bet that's why they did it. I bet each pack comes with one of the champions so you can kind of do a draft or something like that, like limited. Libraries of Sahas, very cool looking. I really dig it. It just looks so, like, I don't know, like, arcane. looks ancient. looks, I don't know, it just looks really cool. We have this Thrust. Uh, Sacred Ground. Quicksand. Hunting Hound. We got this Flame. Yo, look at that dude. Oh, another Fire Imbue. I love the art in this card. It's so cool. Fire Chains and then the Earth Elemental. Yeah, dude. Okay, so let's start opening up some of the packs we have. So, for the packs, we are going to open them up in order. And by that, I mean we're not going to open up Rays first. We're going to do these ones last. We're going to open up the beta set first. And then we're going to open up Welcome to Jalara. And then we're going to open up Rays. So, we're going to kind of do it in order of release. But we are going to keep the rares up here. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to sort these. I guess I'll just put them here for now. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do this. But... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna definitely display them out so you can kind of see, you know, the the artisity on these. And um, as we see some of the commons more often, we're gonna go through them a little bit quicker. So we got Inferno Pits, Inferno Lashback. Yo, look at that dude! Another Fire Elemental, Essence Drain, 
a dark strength. Yo, got like a Trojan, not Trojan, um, uh, Spartan dude there. Got long, so yeah, it does look like every pack is gonna come with one of these. Another Libraries of Sauce. All right, nice. If this is a good card, then maybe we got some dupes for our deck. We got some Landslide, got some Dodge, Decoy, Rabbit, all oh, that poor bunny dude. Uh, fortification. Yo, Flight, beautiful looking card. Dense Fog, look at these eyes. Uh, defensive Practice, she's just kind of defending, dude. And we got this Air Shield. Does this say how many cards are in the, the base set? It looks like there's 90 cards in the, the, the beta set. So 90 cards isn't like huge, but it's very understandable for a, you know, first base set. Um, oh my God, look at this card again. Unhinged, that is, that is on the money. You got Underworld Knowledge, love it. Skeleton King, also love it. Sideswipe. We got a Malevolent Spirit, yo, that looks rad. Um, we got a Malak. We have a Meteorite, yo. Dude, it's a huge explosion. Look at all the birds. They are not having fun. We got, got the smoke bomb. This is a smoke it a bomb. Pressure point, chain lightning. Uh, we have concussion punch, treacherous terrain. Don't want to be standing on the cracks, dude. You can break him with his back. We got a torrents, looks awesome. A shoulder throw, we got yeet. And we have a guided arrow. You can't, can't forget the yeet. Each pack, since it's 15, it feels like it's more than 15. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm used to opening up all these Japanese card games that only has like five cards per pack. Yo, Essence Strain. That looks like Nagash from uh, Warhammer. I got Dark Strength, Water Elemental. That is it, the creepiest Water Elemental I've ever seen in my t entire life. We got Trudge. Got these horses. They're just, you know, they're they're working their way through it, man. Teleportation, beautiful card. We got Nubia. Oh, man, I like I like this whole like uh, aesthetic here. I dig it. Vampire Kiss. Yo, that, that's pretty sweet, dude. Drain Attack. I like the little like punch. Little, little little fisty dude down there. We got Death's Companion. I dig it. Death Eater. Got more Death Eaters. Tsunami. And then we got Jump. Hunt and Hound. Flame. Yo, Fire and Blue Imbue. And then Fire Chains. You see a lot of cards like uh, back to back. So you'll see like the same couple cards in a row. I wonder if that is intentional for like drafting purposes. So like, or sealed purposes. Future Sight. Love the art on this card. Look at the top card of Target Champions Timeline. Interesting. Uh, dedicated Studies. Yo, love the art on this one too. Careful Consideration. Aura Surge. Once again, beautiful. You gain 10 Aura. Hmm. That must be those cards that I saw that had like the, the little water droplets. Those must be Aura. So you have a Rejuvenating Spring. A Raha. Beautiful. Primordial Force. Yo, <laughs> he looks crazy, dude. Look at that monster. Kraken. Dude, it's a Kraken. Yo, I dig it. I dig the Kraken. Underworld Dealings. Got some dark sorcery. Lambs for the slaughter. Oh, poor little lammies, dude. Got Fury. Got Hunt and Hound. Got another Flame. Flame of the West. Fire imbue. Fire chains. And then Earth Elemental. Yeah, we see like flame, like the fire imbue, fire chains. I see them back to back like fairly, fairly often. Um, yeah, dude. I, I really dig this. I really, I'm really curious to see how like the sets change too. Like the art styles change. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. Malevolent Spirit. I love the art on that. It's rad as hell. Inferno Pits, Inferno Lashback, Fire Elemental, Kendra, so our rare is going to be... Ooh, Angel of Retribution, nice. This is a, one of the, the promos that you would get. Um, very, very cool. I wonder if it's a, a good card. It's a rare, but you know, in, in all card games, rare to... Ooh, Angel Kiss, it's really really pretty. Um, rare doesn't necessarily mean it's good, right? Jalarian Waters, Cross Punch, Cross Counter, uh, Nature's Reclaim, and Mythical Protection. I realized I just made a random reference to like a Street Fighter character, the cross counter. I'm pretty sure it's a Dudley, right? Does does like the cross counter? He's like a boxer. He's like a bouncer boxer. Gentleman boxer. We got Trudge, a beautiful teleportation rebound. I, I imagine a lot of these cards do what they say. So like teleportation probably lets you move a character on like a to a different spot. The leap probably lets you like jump over units or jump to a different spot. This my reading's gnarly. We got this gust. Ooh, Rain. Once again, my probably one of my favorite characters in here. Rain looks awesome, dude. Very, very cool. The Demon Scrolls, yo! Search your timeline for a card and put it into your thoughts. Shuffle your timeline. Swift. Yo. Demon Scrolls. I dig it. Give me them Demon Scrolls. Got a Thrust. 
it's like a it's like a tutor. Let's just search for a card, which is excellent. It's got some sacred ground, some beautiful waters. Cross counter, nature's reclaim. Looks like an area from Dark Souls. Uh, mythical protection and jump. That's not a bad thing. It kind of looks like Firelink Shrine, like from Dark Souls One. Tell me, it doesn't look like Firelink Shrine. It kind of looks like Firelink Shrine. You know, it's like a the big birds like up there somewhere. You got your sleeping serpent down on the bottom, and you're just like, where do I go, dude? All these skeletons are killing me. <laughs> yeah, I, I digress. We got our research. I love Dark Souls, by the way. If you didn't know, I used to have a video game channel where I uh, used to like do walkthroughs and let's plays of like Souls games. Uh, Skeleton King, Fang, another character that I like a lot. Purifying Wave. Kill all summons, destroy all alterations. All right, we got a Wrath of God here. Blow up everything. I like it. I love like the board sweepers. You got this ascension, landslide, dodge, another fortification, flight. Add flight as a skill. Well, flight is your skill. You can move onto a spot even if it is occupied. Oh, so you're like, you're like flying above them. It's pretty cool. Defensive practice and air shield. Avatar, the last air shield bender. So I have a couple more packs for this set and then we're got getting on getting on to the next sets i don't want to make this a video that was super long but i did want to kind of give you like a good overview of what you'd be getting into so like if you you know won this or if you didn't win this and you you know wanted to buy some packs or buy like the starter set like what would you get like this is exactly your kind of experience that you would have you got long bolt shot yo area range attack that looks awesome dude look at this character you four Range damage to everything in its awareness. Uh, yo, <laughs> yo. Uh, chain lightning. You got blink, rampage, toss. Seeing a lot of the same. We got this flight, beautiful flight, dense fog, defensive practice, air shield, and air elemental. Definitely, they definitely theme it. The packs are definitely themed because, like, you get one fire card, you get a bunch of fire cards. You get an air card, you get a bunch of air cards. I don't know how deeply they are themed. Like, I don't know if you get like uh, your champion is in theme with the other cards but uh yeah got gust future sight i love it dedicated studies careful consideration i love this character uh iteris guardian of balance yo it looks like pyramid head almost yeah it does kind of yeah i like it those are rare we got tsunami johnny tsunami pressure point yo choke him out dude concussion punch treacherous terrain Torrance looks awesome. Got Yeet and the Guided Arrow. This is the last pack for the beta set. And then we're going to get on to Welcome to Jailara. I think it's... Maybe it's Jailara? I mean, I'm not sure. We got Underworld Knowledge, once again. like it a lot. Just lets you draw a card. I dig it. Skeleton King. You know what this reminds me of, too? Like, the grid-based thing? It kind of reminds me of the old Warlord game. Anyone out there play, like, Warlord? I thought the game was awesome. Holy wall. Holy hell, dude. Look at that. He's blocking that. Really like the art, dude. I know it might have had a weird cut there because my camera cut off, but I like the art on this. It's very, like, painterly, very colorful. I, I dig it a lot. Fury. Got Champion. Got the Eater. Got the Terrain. Got the Torrents. Got the Yeet. Got an arrow and the Fortification. Definitely had to get the... Definitely had to get the, the Yeet in there. So that was... That set. So what I'm going to do is... I am going to just kind of put all of beta rares up top, and then we'll put the next rares on the next row. How about that? I think that could be cool. So let me grab these without knocking everything else over. So we have Welcome to Jalara. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. I'm not sure how much these cards cost. I would be willing to bet they're pretty standard pricing. Um, so look the same as like a, you know, Magic the Gathering pack or something like that. It's probably like three bucks. Something like that. Yo, the, the packs are definitely a little bit different. Like, uh, different, like, texture. So here we have some new cards. We got Pro... Wait. Pro Skinness. Pro Skinness? Pro Skinesis. Finishing Blow. She looks awesome, dude. We have Gale. Just, just, uh, wind bend them off. Unhinge. I'm gonna make a lot of Avatar references. My girlfriend and I just finished watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, Strangle Vines. I'd seen it before, but this is this is her first time seeing it. You got Displace. That looks really sweet. It looks like we have just a bunch of commons on the front now. Landslide. Neutralize Attributes. Yo. And it's got that character that I like. Got an Ainu Wolf. Uh, Ahmat Behemoth. Oh, we've seen this before. 
So we have Serpapard Ascension. Yo! It's a serpent uh, leopard. This is a rare, by the way. Oh, whoa! It's like a full art. Hold on. It's a full art Nubia. That's super cool. That's rad. I'm going to put this somewhere. I don't know if it's a special card, but we'll find out as we open up packs. We got a black stone golem, tattered remains, really cool looking, and a coercive command. I wonder if there's more um, champions, like as you, as they release set. I wonder if they like release more champions. So yeah, we're gonna put this full art kind of here for now, and we'll see if we get more full arts. I don't know if it's like a special thing or if it's just kind of like an every pack thing. As I knock my tripod a little bit, got, got another behemoth, oh, adorable cub, got a fear monger. Uh, Naga, Shadow Claw looked rad before. Oh, so we are, yeah, I remember the, the the two decks we opened at first, those were from this set. This Chain Lightning looks cool. I wonder if it's the same Chain Lightning, just with like different art. Hmm. Yo, Demon's Rage is our rare. That looks awesome. That looks so awesome. And so here we have one of these. Hmm. So it looks like you get either a champion or like a resource interesting lambs you know i'm gonna i'm gonna put this here too i just kind of want to see what the pull rates are on that lambs for the slaughter libraries of sahas wait this is like uncommon we got the rare libraries of sahas here is it the same card hmm it might be the same card Interesting. So it got downgraded to an uncommon here. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Um, so they like reprinted cards from the, the, the beta set into the, the first expansion. That's kind of what it looks like, but I'm not 100% sure. Got adrenaline. It does have different artwork. Um, so it does have that too. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just, let's just go on. Let's just go on. Let's see. Got a disenchant. You know, destroy target artifact or enchantment. We got, uh, Dwajin. Looks awesome. Dark strength. Yo, look at those skulls, dude. Another rebound. Love the, uh, the, the, the Valkyrie. Holy imbue. Teleportation. Yeah, there's some, there's some reprints here for sure. Gust. Uh, blazing strike. Another Hawajin. Foresight of the Ancients. Yo, that looks awesome. Look at those. Look at those little, little jabronis down there. Draw a card for each ability on the stack. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. I imagine you want to just pile stuff up and then just boom, draw a bunch of cards. Um, this is another like token card. It looks like that's the, like a token slot. Got River Knee. Uh, got this Sphinx and a awesome looking Shockwave, dude. Very, very cool. So yeah, it looks like it's a token slot. So this one does look like it was a pretty sweet pull like getting getting one of the the heroes or the, the I keep calling them heroes one of the champions seems cool like I don't know how rare cool um like what your chances of are getting that versus like a you know a stack token dark brand looks awesome got a gray wolf holy suppression holy smokes uh androthera holy imbue holy imbue got a gust uh, another destroy target artifact or enchantment. Hawajin. Fear Hill. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I like it. It's got very pretty artwork. Ooh, Kendra. All right, we're going to put put her down here, too. Got to put all the full arts down here. Draco Caverns. Or Draco's Caverns. I want a full art of that character. Inferno Pits and Epiphany. I want a full art of that character and, like, the, the ninja-looking one. Or like the Spectre Ninja. I guess that's how I can describe it. It looks like a, like a Spectre Ninja. Got a Fire Protection. Holy Suppression. Searing Light. Another Androthera. Leo Unvnad. Something like that. Got a Cleave. Just cleave these. Cleave these uh, vacuous ROM spiders. Take to the skies. Another uh, Disenchant. Dwajin. Dark Strength looks awesome. Primordial Force. Yo, look at this. That's another. It's a Kraken, dude. Is it the same Kraken? Hold on, we... I think it's the same Kraken. It is! But they're both called Primordial Force. And I think they do the same thing, so you can see how they changed a little bit of the layouts here from the beta set into, like, the later sets. Very, very interesting. 
Yeah, I just want to take a look. You can kind of see how they template things a little bit differently here too. Like, like here as well. Very, it kind of reminds me of like Force of Will. I mean, not Force of Will, uh, Flesh and Blood. How Flesh and Blood kind of changed up the layout a little bit after their uh, their two initial sets. Very interesting. So the, this one was the, the beta set version. And this one is the uh, the welcome version. We got Fang. Yo. Wait. Yeah, this is one of the heroes. Or champions. <laughs> Jeez, I could keep calling heroes. All right, yeah, yeah, I dig it. I'll put that, I'll put that here. You got this uh, Shockwave, Hurricane Sweep, and Power Punch. Yo, look at that Power Punch, dude. Yeah. Still got like a bunch of bunch of packs to go through here. Very interesting. I, I love like learning the game, like learning like uh, I don't know the collation of things as as we go. It's very like fun to me, honestly. Just like figuring things out. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go through these. We've seen a lot of these before. Got this Jalarian Waters, very pretty card. I uh, got this big old Blazer Beam Ox. Got this Chain Lightning, Walls of Vadis. Hmm, is this one of the ones we've gotten before? I'm not sure. We got a dark brand, Grey Wolf. Wait a minute. Did we pass a rare? No, we didn't pass a rare. Grey Wolf, Holy Suppression, Malefic Shakti. Yo, got the Shakti. Look at all the, like, the entities around. Very cool looking. Spell Dark. Got, got good old Dark Spell. I dig it. So we, we, get a, we got a full art long here. We got uh, Underworld Dealings. Uh, coercive command and an elemental dominance. Yo, that looks so cool, dude. The art in this game is excellent. It is excellent. I'm not sure why some of these have the full art and some of them do not have the full art. I'm still gonna put these. I'm gonna put the the, the champions off to the side because I kind of want to just take a look at them in my own time and kind of compare and contrast the ones that do have the full art and the ones that don't have the full art. I'll kind of compare them to the ones from the uh, like the starter decks. I'm very curious to see if some are supposed to have words on them or or not. Actually, you know, we can just look. What am I doing, dude? We can just we can just look. For the sake of research, we can just look. So long here does actually have like text on them, right? So it's different. Yeah, the full art are just is just straight up full art. So this fang is like is different, right? So let's find Fang here. This is just kind of like an alt art. So instead of full art, it's an alt art Fang. Huh. Very interesting. So you can probably get both, right? So you can probably get the full art version of the original and then maybe like an alt art version. Hmm. I don't know. I like it. I don't know. I, I, just, I just like it. It's cool. So we have this pack that's like partially opened as I, you know, had to go on that uh, mini, mini tirade of discovery. And, uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Got the rebound. Got the got the defense. And we're just going to... Ooh, teleportation. We're going to go through these fairly quickly. Uh, Inferno Ghoul Thunderstruck. Reckless Demolition. Cobus. Summon Nightmare. Dude, look at that thing. That's awesome looking. Dark Attack Beckon. Yeah, dude. So we have, like, this little... Tip card. Hmm. Adrenaline. Angels Embrace. Yo, look at the art in that one, too. Lambs for the Slaughter. We saw this one in the other one as well. Very interesting. I, I do really like the Angels Embrace and the Lambs for the Slaughter. So, yeah, we have seen... We've seen um, multiples of some of these cards. I should probably look to see. I haven't looked to see how big the set is. Is it a much bigger set? It's 139, or 135 cards. So, it is, is a much bigger set than the, than the beta set. Which, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense. You know, if I was making a card game myself, which I kind of want to do, but that's a whole other story. Um, I would make the first set smaller. A fire protection, another fire hill, spelt with the ph, like the like the festival, uh, fire festival. Yeah, we got this. Uh, got the little little droplet, the aura, uh, phoenix fire, and then heavy defense. She is heavy on defense, and look at the the rock. The veiny rocks in the background. So we got two more packs for this set, and then we're going on to the newest set, which I think came out fairly recently. Yo, look, look at the bunny, dude. Uh, Silver Legged Recluse. Quick shot, beautiful artwork on that. Left hook, yo, that looks awesome. I really dig it. Rampage Toss, got another yeet. Uh, Elemental Mastery. 
I've seen some different art here. No Man's Land, Pale Fox. Yo, it's cute. Kind of looks like my dog. Like an evil version of my dog almost. Baboon Spider. Yo. Bone Elephant. Ajna Tiger. Got a bunch of like animals there. Ajna Tiger. That looks awesome. That looks like a mount that you would want in World of Warcraft. Or like a, a pet that you could tame if you're a hunter. Got Rain. Oh, dude. So this is Rain, but like alt art. Because now Rain has all these like crazy little jabronis around her or them it them yeah underworld dealings death eater i don't know what uh what rain's gender identity is um anyway let's let's uh let's move on got uh another kyo kyo or rio kyo rabbit uh we're gonna like what's that flip through these pretty quick this is our last pack by the way of this particular set take to the sky it's got a blazing strike Let's see what a rare is. Gilded Stag. Dude, that's pretty cool looking. Yo, I really like the, the painterly art style of this. And then we have a Kendra with with text. Psychic Assault, Shockwave, and Subjugation Strike looks really cool. So the Kendra with text. So we have like alt arts with text. Well, no, they're not all, all alt arts. So this is a Kendra with text and a full art Kendra. So I would imagine the full arts here are kind of what you want. It's not, it's not, I know it's what I would want, is what I'm trying to say. So if I'm playing the game and I'm playing with like Nubia here, I'm like, yo, I want the full art Nubia, dude. Really cool. I would have also liked full art um, this one. Yeah, because that card, Rain, is red. And also, uh, Fang's pretty cool too. So let's kind of scooch these up a little bit more and we will get to the last 10 packs this is the newest set, Rays. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Let's see how much the cards have changed since the uh, the first two. This is kind of like a cool, like almost like a retrospective too of this game, since uh, we're actually taking a look at like all of the sets that they have. Uh, let's see if the pack layout has changed too. Um, I need to make some room here on my table though. We've got this Makara, so that's an uncommon. So starting with the uncommons, Instill Vigor, Blood Centipede, Erica. Yo, this is a new character. Full art. Dude, I like this character too. She's like a cute little girl with a giant man-eating tiger. Yo, I like it. I dig it. It says starter on there. Yeah, that's that's a really cool one. I'm, I'm kind of putting this in my like champion pile here. Oh, this is a rare here. We got Algoy Korkoy. Hmm. It's horrifying looking. It's incredibly, incredibly spooky. Oh, we got upside down card. A lion mane rabbit. If you know me, I get a lot of like packs with upside down cards. I did it in flesh and blood too. There was that booster box that had like, of the arcane rising that had like half the cards are like upside down. Ooh, by who? It's a, that's a well known like a uh, tiger dude. Electric Thubin and Canopy Merlin. Yeah, by who? Um, if you play Force of Will, by who is one of uh, Prisia's um, sacred beasts, or rather, it's one of the sacred beasts that's friends with Prisia, I should say. Anyway, I digress. Let's let's keep going on. I really liked that Erica card. You got Whip Smash, Diabolical Roar. This is back change. No, got a Wind Slash. Wait, Whip Smash and Wind Slash. This set has 109 cards. It's a little bit smaller than the last one. This is kind of like a little, like a tip card or something. We have Sadistic Illusion. Interesting. Oh, it has, a, it has the girl. It has Erica. Because she's like charming the tiger, right? I don't know, dude. Very interesting. We have Tachi Psych. Or Tacky Psychic. A parry. Really cool looking. Tornado Winds. Mirage to Oasis. I didn't know you could... Like verb mirage, or yeah, miraged abidance. Hmm, very pretty. Arcane shield, also very pretty. Look at this little mouse, dude. Dusk trail mouse. Stable footing and a uh, another yeet. <laughs> it's a, that one's a wrist throw. Different kind of yeet. Still a yeet though. Once yeeted, always, always yeeted. This is gonna be a pretty long video. I just realized it's gonna be like an hour long, but I think it's still gonna be fun. Um, Zyfang is a, it's a fire spell. Oh, interesting. Hall, it also has, uh, has Erica. 
Oh, dude, I like Erica. She's rad. We got Arcane Blast. Odara. Ooh, another new character. Human Princess, Souls of the Fallen Kings. So she she was a full art, so I didn't really know exactly what she does. So it doesn't have her like all of her cool stuff. But this character, you can kind of see what they see what they got going on. Fire Pillar is our rare. That is definitely a pillar on fire. And then we have uh, Upside Down. We have this Dark Corruption. Gut Punch. Yo. I like the, the claws there. Tachi Psych. Got a parry. Tornado Winds. Mirage Oasis. Ooh, Kodama. Uh, Abidance. Another beautiful Arcane Shield. And a little mouse. Little mouse dude. I need to speed up these packs because I think my battery is going to die soon. Um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun opening these, dude. I mean, it's gonna be really fun to like learn how to play. I really like grid-based games. Um, they're a nice change of pace if you're used to like, you know, magic or force of will or whatever. Fire Dan or Fire Master's Dance, beautiful. Dense fog. I think we saw this in the first set. Uh, Wade Net. Yo, look at this. Wait, this is a epic card. Yo, this is. I don't know how to pronounce this. Apoc wait, let me let's, let's sound this out. Let's, let's sound this out like we're in the, the fucking like third grade. Apo catastasis. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. But this is like beautiful. Beautiful full art epic card. And a rare, you get two. Dr Necro Lich, yo, dude. So this card. Um I'm gonna set. I'm just gonna leave it here. Well, no, I'm gonna put it in my, I'm gonna put it in my full art pile for now. Uh, and we have Necro Lich here. And then we have Angelic Change, looks rad. We have Underworld Knowledge, Spike Pit, Gut Punch, Canopy Merlin. Got another, got a Fury, got a Shoulder Hop. The Library's Gates, Sidestep, and an Inspiring Might. I was like, do I have any sleeves nearby? I'm gonna put a, put it in a sleeve. All right, I did get one of my Shadowverse sleeves for this crazy epic card. Really, really cool looking. I'll have to look up and see what that even does, but it's awesome looking. Beautiful artwork. I mean, I dig it quite a bit. If this was like a textured foil or something, oh man, dude, I would be, I would be so sold. But in any case, let's let's keep it open. Maybe we can get another epic. I don't know how rare those are. I don't know if it's like one in eight packs. Um, like a mythic and magic or, or something like that, but still very cool and still vigor blood centipede another by who We've got oh, this is rare. This is uh, um, Yama Raja that looks really cool summon Reiki Hmm Really cool looking card though beautiful artwork on that That's true for the most like this game in general. The art is excellent um, It's very some of the arts like very traditional it reminds me of a lot of like old school card games, which you know me, dude. I love my old school card games. Underworld Knowledge. I mean, beautiful card too. Look at that, dude. Um, you know, like I love my Wyvern and all my like classic art card games. Yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it quite a bit. You know, it'll be really fun to learn how to play. Um, and like I said, it reminds me a lot of Warlord. Uh, if anyone out there has played Warlord, shout out to all my uh, my my old my old peeps. Look at this crazy baboon, dude. Uh, Ascendant Teachings. Coon. Oh, so this is a, another starter card. Really cool looking wings on this dude. Yeah, Human Angel Soldier. So he's like a half human, half angel. Zanbur Dragon. Dude, got a big old dragon. I dig it. Whoa, look at his like area of attack. Probably like Fire Breath or something. Hmm. Engulfing Wrath. Fleet footed, beautiful, beautiful card. Jalarian Mist, got a luminous covering, dark corruption. Lion Mane Rabbit, <laughs> dude, that rabbit. Look at that crazy rabbit. Uh, dark Loa, oh, Loa's. Uh, knee Ratite. Uh, Avum Exitium. It's like a Harry Potter type spell. Like a Latin based, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Because <laughs> Harry Potter, they use Latin for their uh, Latin ish. For their spells. Yeah. Wingardium Leviosa. We got Flight. Beautiful artwork on that one. Downpour. I wonder if there's like like Flight and that kind of stuff are just kind of like staple cards that they just reprint for all of them. So instead of making a card that's functionally the same, they just make the same card. 
We got Pacify. We got another Necro Lich. Yo, dude. I can I can be down with the Necro Lich. I dig it. We got got some upside down. Got stable footing. Another Yeet. <laughs> got an engulfing wrath. Just got a book it. Jalarian Mist. Luminous Dark Corruption. Another crazy rabbit. Another sweet Loa and a little little gobble. Gobble de goop. Little gobble gobble de goops. So yeah, like I said, uh, we are going to be giving away, uh, at the end of this video, those two decks, also the two-player starter set, and also the uh, uh, the promos, dude. Got this giant ant, Breath of Jalara, Forked Lightning. Oh, dude, we got uh, we got the dude, but full art. Yo, let's go. It's really cool looking. Yeah, I dig it, dude. I dig it. Oh, we got this crazy, like... Ox card. Didn't we get this before? Wasn't this a not a rare? Hmm. I remember the ox shooting lasers out of his head. We'll have to go through. I'll have to go through these. I just got a giant stack of cards now on the side. I'll have to go. Ooh, float. I'll have to go through Shadow Master. Yo. And take a look at the cards later. Got a shoulder hop. Dark Corruption and a gut punch. Just, you know, punch him. Punch him right, right in the jub, right in the jubblies. That's not a gut. That's not a gut punch. Oh yeah, he's, he's on the, he's on the front. Some of the pack arts. So, let's get two. We got two more packs left. Let's get two more epics, right? Let's just show off the epics. We got selective amnesia. I love it, dude. We got a Goliath the Sphinx Eater. Yo, that's gnarly. Wade net or weighted net. Ooh, core. This is a full art version of another. Another champion, uh, spooky looking dude, very, very demonic. Look at those big old horns. Archon of Vigor, yo, I dig it. Do we get, hmm, do we get an Archon of Vigor before, maybe? No, it's Angel of Retribution. I don't know, very cool dude, I, I, I like it. We have this uh, Head Slip, Engulfing Wrath, another, you know, Wingardium Leviosa. It's more like a Vada Kedavra, you know? Float, Shadow Master, Luminous, and the the hopping of the shoulder. So this is the last pack. And then I will tell you what you need to do to enter the giveaway. And I'll just kind of re-show you what you're what you're entering to, to win. Uh, we have Breath of Jalara, Martial Training, got O10. Wait, O10. Revenge of the Phoenix. Dude, we got another epic! Yo, and it's an awesome looking one too. Yo, awesome last pack. Yeah, so good, dude. And we also got a Celestial Hedgeman. All right, hold up. I think I still have another. Let me grab another a sleeve from over here. Hold on. I had some Wee Cross cards over here, and not they're all in sleeves, and not all of them are valuable. So let's we'll we'll, we'll re-sleeve them up later. But yeah, we're gonna put this Revenge of the Phoenix into a sleeve because i actually don't know how rare or valuable they are but i mean it's an epic you gotta you gotta put it in the sleeve and it has awesome looking artwork dude awesome looking swift execute trigger execute so yeah we did get two epics in those packs look at these these, these are so cool looking too yeah i dig it i dig it quite a bit so we have uh those i will kind of re re go over a couple of these cards got the celestial hegemon and then we also have dark passage oh shock lizard got still seeing some new stuff cattail tiger skeleton warrior sea crate another by who electric dude canopy merlin head slip and engulfing wrath yo yeah cool so that is it for the packs um we did get two epics which is it is epic dude and then the other like full arts i don't like once again i don't know how rare or sought after these are but i think if i was playing this game if i was like a big fan of the game and i played it a lot i would want the full arts like like look, look at this dude it's awesome looking it's so cool looking like getting a full art version of your preferred champion would be amazing like look at this nubia dude she's one of my favorite characters right off the bat just the way she looks i love like the spellcastery type stuff so i'm like yo this, this is awesome, dude. And I like this Erica. I don't have no idea what she does, but she is very cool. And I've seen her on some of the art, other artwork. Anytime they do full arts, uh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of full arts just in general. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to gush over that quite a bit. 
Uh, didn't realize the epics were full art. I thought it would just be like, like how you know Magic does mythics. It would just be the same card, but you know the same style. It looks like any other card, but the, the you know it just has a different color rarity or whatever. If you play this game at all, I'm very curious to know if any of the rares that I pulled were like really good or like banned or like you know like just really powerful cards, um, or if any of these are particularly great as well. Especially like yo those two. Best best pulls and also Erica, dude. Also can't can't forget about Erica and her giant monstrous tiger. So this is the moment you've been waiting for. What do you got to do to enter this giveaway? I am going to be giving away this two-player starter set because it does come with the same stuff. Um, there's no reason for me to have two of them because um, it is a two-player starter set. So even if I wanted to play with my girlfriend, one is good enough for me. So I'm going to give this away to someone so you can get all of the, you know, the how to play stuff and the dice and all that kind of cool stuff, as well as all the cards and two booster packs. So that'll be fun. Maybe you can get something really sweet in your booster packs, as well as all of these promos and these other two starter decks. So this is gonna be a good way to get into the game and you know start learning how to play. So what do you gotta do? Basically just leave a comment down below telling me that you wanna enter and um, tell me what your favorite pull of this video was. Maybe it was one of these uh, really cool cards here that I'm not gonna go over. If you just skipped ahead, you'll have to watch and uh, see what it is. So yeah, just leave a comment down below saying what your favorite pull of this video was, maybe your favorite art or, you know, anything at all, and uh, let me know that you would like to enter to win. I'm going to probably give this a couple weeks, and then I will um, reply to the comment who won and be like, yo, you won, and then you can, you know, message me your contact information, your mailing address, and I will ship it out to you. Um, you can either me message me on Twitter or Facebook. So yeah, we will set that up for you. Hopefully someone, you know, wins this who really wants to learn how to play. Because I think this game is really cool, you know. I do think it's definitely worth a shot. Uh, I do have links in the description down below for where you can find this product. But I digress. If you like the video, then leave a like, comment, subscribe. All of that really helps. Maybe check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me directly. But regardless of what you do, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time for some more excellent card game content. Yeah. I'll see you later.